Okay, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill. I'm a UK reseller. I buy and sell antiques, collectibles, and basically anything I like and flip it for a profit. Now, the purpose of today's video is, well, I don't know how many of you actually watched my hoarder videos. I'm a bit of a hoarder, and I have got a lot of stuff in sheds, outbuildings, and I had some floods. And let me show you the result of one of those floods. That is what a silver teapot or silver plate teapot is supposed to look like. That is what mine looks like. Look at the difference. Look at the tide line. That was lying in the box like that. And that tide line is literally the water line. So this has been submerged in water for a considerable amount of time. Now this is too good to throw away. I have a full set of this that looks just like this. This is the set with the bird head for the spout, everything. It is a beautiful set of English silver plate. It's a really nice uh, quality piece. It's got a flower for the top finial. It is just a nice quality set. Now, I don't know if it's ruined, but we're going to try and clean it. Now, I've done videos on how to clean silver and how to clean silver plate, and I have many of them. But this is different. This is, what's the limit to the cleaning? Now, I'm not gonna do this by hand. I'm gonna do this by chemical reaction. Um, so basically, I'm going to put in, bear with me. These. And what is it? This is a silver cleaning plate. It removes dirt and tarnish, leaving silver clean and shining, so it says. Now, what is it? Basically, it is this. And that is like a pierced aluminium plate, aluminium plate. So it's a metal plate. And um, what happens? You put this into a plastic bowl, not a metal bowl, into a plastic bowl. This then sits on top of this, making sure there's contact. You then fill it with boil in hot water and add soda crystal and the chemical reaction is supposed to clean the silver it does work i've done videos showing this stuff working before but will it work to this level this is seriously well this just as well been shipwreck treasure because it is that far gone honestly it is black and we're not just talking dirty this is almost ingrained water stain of the entire thing lime scale water scale whatever you want to call it so this is going to be interesting to see how this comes up but we're going to have a go now okay now this is that bad i'm going to use a few extra plates i've got them spare so that's the first one going in then i'm going to put in the teapot on its side because i want it as much of the metal touching as i can and i've actually got a few other plates because I've done this for years, so I've actually got a couple of extras. And this is just a big sheet of aluminium I'd use for cutlery. So I'm gonna literally just plonk them in for a little extra um, cleaning, <laughs> if you like. So next, the soda crystals are simple, just simple soda crystals used to clean your laundry, you know, your washing machine, things like that. Multi-purpose traditional cleaning. And boiling hot water. Now be very careful when you're doing this because handles can get damaged depending on what handles you've got on things. And you can see I'm using a lot of water, uh, soda crystals. Now depending on the handles, you can damage bake light handles or plastic or things like that. So be very careful what type of handle you use. I actually need more water. It's going to take a few kettles to fill this up. So bear with me and I will get a few more kettles of water. Okay, I've got one more um, kettle full to go in, but you can see it working. Look at the reaction, the bubbling, the water's getting dirty. So I don't know how much of this is going to clean. You can see it's um, doing something, it's having some sort of reaction there. I suggest you do this in a ventilated area because the fumes coming off here. You can see the steam in the fumes. 
I've got the doors and windows open here in the shop. So one more um, kettle full of water and I'll leave it for 20 minutes or so and we'll see what happens. But no work involved, it's just fill the bucket up with water. Okay, you can see this water absolutely going nuts. And let me show you, it's actually not on anything to power and heat. It's just sat on a box. And it's lifting, you can see the dirt coming up just around this area. That's just all chemical reaction going crazy there. Once it's finished, it'll be as simple as take them out, wash them in soapy water and hope they're done. And um, I'm going to show you the state of the sludge that comes out of this. And hopefully the silver plate wasn't eaten by the lime and the water. But you can see it really working here. Okay, you'll be pleased to know I've actually bought some gloves. Whee! Purely because this is hot water and obviously the chemical reaction, I don't want to burn myself. Well, you can see so far, it is taking it off, but we are a long way from being clean. It is coming off. That is hot, ouch. Is scalding back in there. Get there. That's not good, it's not in the water. <sighs> that water really is hot. I knew we'd get there eventually. Yeah. Oof. More time needed. Let's give her another 20 minutes or so. Okay, so you can see the water has stopped fuzzing and bubbling and all the rest of it. So, still quite hot. Now, it hasn't done brilliant. It's taken a lot of it off. It certainly hasn't brought it back to that. Maybe a wash now will help it, but you can still see as much as you can see the state of the water, as much as it's cleaned loads of it off. I think it's going to take a few attempts, it was that thick. And I'll show you in a minute just how bad the sludge was that I've took hold of it. Let's see if I can. I put lots of different plates in to keep the electrolysis going. Okay, I'm more than a bit disappointed. Let's show you what we got after washing them with soapy water. Now maybe they need another dip. I don't know. I may even try now with standard silver polish. Now it's took all the lime scale and everything off it. You can still see the difference between the two. It hasn't made a huge difference. It's took all the dirt off mine. You can see that the dirt's gone. But I'm wondering if I can polish it back up now. Or whether that water irreversibly damaged the plate. But there's certainly limits to the chemical reaction cleaning. And maybe it just needs another dip. Because it was a lot to take off. It really was. I'd love to be able to save the set. Such a nice set. But you'll see. That's the result of my experiment with this anyway. Didn't go as well as I hoped. Maybe I will try again another day and redip them. Maybe I'll just try by hand or just let them go, sell them cheap as they are, and let somebody else have the problem. So that's gone from what possibly was a 60, 70, 80 pound set down to 
oh, not far off scrap value for, mm. for me as far as I'm concerned, unfortunately. But I will keep trying, see if I can clean them. But that was the result of the um, soda crystal trial. There is obviously a limit. When you put in your silver and your silver plate when it's dirty, it does pick it up lovely and clean. But there was obviously a limit to it. Okay, so I've been using uh, a metal polish rather than a silver polish. Um, this is where I got some very, very soft, well, it's thicker than liquid, but not quite a paste. And I've just been putting it on with an old toothbrush to get it all into the, all the design, the pattern and so forth. And I'm pleased to say, this is actually taking it off. I've even managed to clean this front up. Look at that, you've got the sort of green man. you have to excuse the noise outside. It is an open shop. So yeah, you've got the green man there. Look, it is cleaning up. So, just quickly, and if I pick a little spot. see on the lid but there you can see the lid so the soda crystals the soda crystals took off all the lime scale and all the real dark dirt but this is the ingrained stuff into the plate and bear in mind I'm only using a top brush I'm not using nothing coarse or and I'm just working it into the um, pattern because it's quite a deep chased pattern in this. This one is electroplated Britannia metal rather than non brass or copper. So that's that. That's all I've done there. You can see that. And believe it or not, all I've been doing a minute is using simple toilet roll tissue, very soft tissue. What it means is I can now save the C set. It is coming up beautiful, and you can see the muck coming off this. Literally, I'll tell you what, I'll use another piece just to show you how bad the ingrained dirt was. I think it must have been sat in the water for probably a couple of years. All right, so nice clean piece. It's literally pulling all the dirt out of the silver plate. And it really is bad. So I can save it. So <laughs> it isn't a total waste of an experiment because the soda crystals took all the thick lime scale off and it's just left now with discoloured silver. Um, it probably would clean up again if I re dipped them in soda crystal. But I think I'm gonna sit down, watch a film, and slowly work. All this polish into all the pattern now and then clean it by hand where as i say cleans polishes protects all metals fiberglass and ceramic okay that's what i'm using now normally i use goddard's silver foam so be very careful when you're polishing silver like this using a soft cloth because you can take the silver off it's very very thin but this was ruined anyway as far as i was concerned but now as long as i'm careful i can get it back to that Look at that difference. Hopefully you can see. So I can now save the set.